Hello and welcome back to Coins and More UK. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and in today's video we are going to be looking at a package that has kindly been sent in by the myth, the legend, that is Robert Roberts. Okay, so to put a story short, um, a few weeks ago on Christopher Click's live stream, I noticed that Robert Roberts was doing his rounds and he was doing a little giveaway, basically asking anyone if they wanted any free banknotes. So I thought I'd take one for the team and uh, yeah, I took him up on the offer and in a short second you're going to see what he sent in. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's a bit of a blind reaction. I've only opened up this package but I've not actually looked at the banknotes. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what's been sent in. So without further ado, let's grab the parcel and let's get on with the video. Okay, so here it is. A fairly hefty sized little parcel just here. I'm going to put it to one side, empty all the notes out and I'm going to go through them one by one. Now, a pre-warning, I'm not a massive expert on banknotes, so I'm relying on you lot in the comments below to um, identify any of these banknotes that I've not got a clue about. So I'm looking forward to this one, but yeah, any help is appreciated. I might be able to guess a few, but um, overall, I'm not that clued up on banknotes, but I'm quite confident this is going to make an interesting video. So let's get, let's get these uh, banknotes emptied and let's have a look what we've got. Okay, so that's the package empty. Oh god, this was full up of banknotes. So yeah, let's see how long this video lasts. That's empty, let's have a look at these banknotes. Okay, so to start off, we have got this one. Republica Moldova. It looks like it's been um, laminated. So that's pretty handy, it saves me a bit of a job. And it's fairly small, it's not the biggest of notes. Yeah, mode over, I believe, 2010. Not a bad little start, nice little note. Let's whack you over there. Okay, and next up, another laminated banknote. <laughs> and this one, again, I've not got a clue where this one's from. It's from Locker Shucker Chucker Chucker. Oh, God, I wish I could read that sort of language. But uh, I've not got a clue. Could be one of them weird Scottish banknotes. I'm not quite sure, but yeah. Not got a clue, but it's a nice banknote. Do like the colours. And it'll be interesting to see in the comments where this one's from. Okay, and next up. Okay, issued under law. Uh, the, Arab, the, the Arab Republic of Egypt currency note. And again, if I get the lighting right. Oh, we've got a little... Let's see if we can see that. You can just see inside there the hologram. This is a this is a nice note. Five piastres. As you can tell, I'm not that good on banknotes. Yeah, really cool, nice colours. <laughs> That's a weird one, but yeah, nice. All right, next up we have got there you go, another banknote with all this oh here we go national bank of cambodia i can guess that one but yeah nice little picture just there they're quite nice these foreign banknotes and again i've no idea who that is we've got some sort of like budders or whatever the, whatever they are just there yeah, really cool and that is slightly bigger you can see the size comparison of some of these notes just there Okay, so here we go, have another one. Now this one's not uh, laminated. So let's see if there's any clues on the notes where this one's from. Now this one I've not got a clue either. But it's really nice, I do like the, the colouring. And it's 25 something, 25 Nibu. It's a really pretty banknote. Got the lion just there. Yeah, really cool that. That's quite nice. I do like that one. Okay, next up. Okay, so here we go. Again, I've no idea with this one. Got some people dancing just there. It looks like this bloke's nearly naked. Let's have a look here. Let's see. No. Something about no. Po post some polski polish note no nah, i'm gonna be wrong but again another really nice note it's 
it's in good condition as well. And here we have another one. Renmin Yinghang, 1999. Could this be China, Hong Kong? Really cool, nice, nice, nice note that is. Yeah, nice little one, let's put you down there. And next up, so I'm guessing this one's Greek. It's got to be Greek. Is it a thousand drachma or? Could be wrong. I recognise this, a pax fee. And of course, it's got to be Greek. It's definitely a Greek looking note. But that's really nice, I do like this one. This is possibly one of my favourites so far, but yeah, really nice note. And I've seen these before, but to this day I still don't know where they come from. It's, it's like a little token note, but it's really nice. And I'm sure I've got a few of these up in my co uh, up in my uh, note folder. Yeah, really cool. Let's put you there. And next up, we've got another laminated banknote, and again, it's got to be Greek. That's really cool. It's very orange. 200. Yeah, really cool. Let's put you down there. Right, we're getting there. We're getting through these. Oh, this is nice. We've got the tiger and the elephant and 10 rupees. There we go. <laughs> We've got Gandhi on the front just there. This is really nice. I do like some of the uh, Indian notes. India. Let's look at that, that's really nice. And it's been laminated as well, so it's safe. That's really cool, I do like that one. Okay, so moving on, we've got this one. Ostrich. Okay, so this could be, I'm gonna guess Austria or German. Definitely like European. Shilling. Schwangjing Shilling. 20. That's a really nice note. That is really nice. I do love this portrait. That's really cool. I do like this one. This is possibly my favourite one so far. That's really nice. Okay, moving again. We've got 10 rupees. I think we've just had this one actually. Again, Gandhi on the front. And the tiger and the elephant. Oh, and there's a hologram. Let's see if we can see what's in this hologram. It's a bit hard with this um, laminate on. Again, another really nice note. And here we go. So this one is Indian. Five rupees. Got a little man on his tractor. Wow, look at that. Reserve Bank of India. Very nice. Okay, so we've got Na Odwi Bank Polski. A thousand. If if this guy had short hair, it would look like James E. B. Hoy. <laughs> this is mad. It's quite a cool banknote though, that's really cool. I'm assuming this one's Polish, maybe. Yeah, that's really nice. Really cool. Like I say, any of these notes that I've got wrong, just let me know in the comments below. I'm useless for bank notes, but I'm having a good guess. Okay, so this one, right, this looks, well, I've not seen this one before. Francs. 50 francs. So I'm assuming this could possibly be French. Frank Treasury. Oh, Belgium as well. Ah, so this is Belgium. This could be from Belgium. A Belgium 50 franc note. That's really nice. Another lovely note. Okay, so we've got a banknote from Iraq. 1,000 dinars. I've got some Iraqi banknotes um, already with Saddam Hussein on them. They're really creepy. That's another nice note. A nice little hologram on there. That's pretty cool. Can we see for this one? No. Very nice, very snazzy. OK, 
Okay, on this one. Ah, here we go. So this is like a token note. So the RMS Titanic. This is, this is quite nice. United States of the America. Captain Edward J. Smith. I used to love Titanic. Um, as a history subject, it's uh, one thing that I'm, uh, I am quite clued up about. I do enjoy um, reading about the history of the Titanic, why it sank, and bits and bobs like that. So yeah, this is, this is a really nice note. That's really cool, a nice little token note. And here we have 10 shillings. Okay, so Central Bank of Kenya. This is a nice note. I like the flowers on the outside just there and the crest. That's really nice as well. I got some really nice, some nice like light blue colours on the background of the mountains. And that's a, that's a lovely note. So and that one is yeah, Central Bank of Kenya. That's really nice. And the last one. Let's have a look. See if we can get this one. Um, oh. There we go, Central Bank of Cyprus. One pound. This is cool. The little jug's just there. Got some sort of town or a village in the background and some mountains. And a portrait. I have no idea who that is. This is that's really nice. Another nice note, so yeah, thank you very much for that. Okay, so just as I was uh, finishing off the video, I noticed this um, that was uh, on the side just there. So it says, to Matt, here are the banknotes I said I would send you. Uh, there are some paper ones and some that have been laminated. I hope you like them. And yes, Robert Roberts, um, I did like them. And uh, I just want to say a big thank you for sending in these um, for me to have a look at. As soon as I finish recording, I'm going to take a closer look and try and have a bit of research where these notes are from. But it's very, very kind of you to send um, me these in. Um, and I, I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of your bank notes on the channel. But yeah, you are um, a supporter to um, many channels on the uh, the CoinTuber game. And we all appreciate your support. So once again, Robert Roberts, thank you so much for these bank notes. And yeah, that's, it's a really nice gift and I can't wait to get some of these looked at and into the albums which I've got up on the shelves just there. Okay, so if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like. Of course, if you want to leave me a comment um, regarding any of these banknotes, because I know that I've not got many right. And of course, um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be fantastic as well. And if you press that notification bell, you'll always be notified when I upload new videos like this. So once again, thank you Robert Roberts for sending me these uh, lovely banknotes. And uh, I think that's it for now. So all that's really left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Take care and always remember there's always two sides to every coin or note. If you take the time to look. <laughs>